Colonel Fairhaven. <laughs> and his partner is uh, Mary Lanasa, who is uh, here representing the city of Baltimore in our uh, search for the Mrs. Housing Development of the United States. So folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. <laughs> Welcome to the Groucho Show. Welcome to the Groucho Show. Say the secret word and you'll divide an extra hundred dollars. You know, I haven't looked yet who came in. <laughs> How do they look? <laughs> Is it safe for me to take a sly glance? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, you say? Baltimore, Maryland. Tryon Boyer, huh? And Mary Manasseh. Are you the Manasseh Mauler? Lanasseh. No, that was Jack Dempsey, huh? The name is Lanasseh. Lanasseh? Yes, sir. And your name is Tryon Boyer, huh? That's right, Rancho. You have a handsome head of uh, white hair. And you don't look old enough. Is it uh, prematurely uh, white? Yes, it started about 20 years ago when I was 25. You mean you're 45 years old? Just about. Well, you look like a boy. Thank you. An old boy, but you look... <laughs> He's handsome. Don't you think so? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I must look lousy alongside of these two. <laughs> uh, Mary Lanasa, are you uh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary? Well, um... I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Mm -hmm. What changed you? Uh... Well, I think six years of marriage. <laughs> How, how'd you meet this? Uh... I met him at a beach, and we were, uh, I was with another date, and the date and I were dancing, and my husband... Dancing on the beach? Didn't your no, feet we get were... wet? No, we were dancing in a pavilion. Oh. And so my, hus my husband cut in, and we and started dancing. What did the fellow say? Was, your, was the fellow you were dancing with? Uh... Willing to relinquish? Well, he couldn't say much because he was smaller than my husband. How much later did you get married? Two Following weeks. morning? <laughs> huh? Two weeks. Two weeks later? Yes, sir. <laughs> what did your parents think of this hasty marriage? Well, they didn't like it too much at first. They thought Sam was rather impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> was your, were your parents shocked? Oh, when not When they saw much. Sam? No. They are. What sort, of, what sort of work was Sam doing at this time? Well, I think he was trying to get some unemployment checks cashed. <laughs> no wonder he was in such a rush. He wanted to get married while he still had a steady income. <laughs> and now you've been married six years? Yes, sir. I suppose your marriage has settled down. And Is he still getting the unemployment checks? No, sir. He's employed now. Uh, and is the, your marriage uh, the usual humdrum affair? Well, uh, no, not at all. No? We, uh, uh, I like to tickle Sam because he's very ticklish. And you like to what, was that? Tickle Sam. You tickle Sam? Mm -hmm. Is that a game, tickle Sam? No, no but it's just something, you know. How do you, you play know, that? Uh, I just try to tickle him. Naturally, he doesn't want me to, so he runs away. And then I have to run and catch just on occasion when uh, we get the impulse. Well, how long does this last, I mean? Oh, just a few seconds. Long enough for me to get even. Is this a game that is uh, only in Baltimore? Do they play this in other states? I don't know, but if they do, I wish they'd let me know. Uh -huh. I'd like to know. I never knew that in Maryland they played Tickle Sam. It's a... <laughs> This may sweep the country, this thing. <laughs> they may get jealous in Delaware and North and South Carolina and all those states, border states. Yeah. Well, Tryon, I've uh, found out all about uh, matrimony in Maryland. Now, let's see if we can find out something about you. It's an unusual name, and uh, where are you from? Well, I was born in a part of Romania called Transylvania, Groucho. Mm, Trans I, I thought that was a railroad, Transylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. You were born in Pennsylvania? Transylvania. Transylvania. Is that near Pennsylvania? <laughs> there is a Pennsylvania in Romania. I suppose it is near. You mean there's a Pennsylvania in Romania? I didn't say that, so you did. Oh. Well, what did you say? Groucho, if you'll give me a chance to answer the question, I will do it. Okay. I don't know what the question was. <laughs> Could you? You remember the question? 
I think so. Well, you ask the question and you answer it. <laughs> Just ask me where I was from. I'm telling you, I'm from a place called Transylvania in Romania. That is right? not what I asked you. I asked you if Transylvania was a railroad and you said no. <laughs> Transylvania is not a railroad. Well, then why, uh, that's true. That's well, true. Then that's then how can it be in Romania? <laughs> This is quite confusing. Well, I don't think it's clear to me either. <laughs> I may go back and play Tickle Sam with this guy. Be my guest. Yes. <laughs> Could we play a couple of rounds of Tickle Sam? I'm a novice at the game, but I, I'm sure I could pick it up pretty quick. You'll learn. Huh? You'll learn pretty fast. Would you like to play, too? With whom? Well, I mean, I thought, you can, can you play three-handed? <laughs> or do you play dealer stays out? <laughs> this thing is going to sweep the country. You uh, probably will. Yeah. I don't think the country can stand a good sweeping right now. <laughs> uh, are you an actor, uh, Tryon? No, I'm not, Groucho, but that's the reason why I'm here in... Um, because in, you're not an actor? <clears throat> well, one of the reasons why I'm in Hollywood is that I've uh, always wanted to be an actor, and uh, uh, I thought that by coming here, I might get the break. Mm -hmm. uh, my real profession is... Well, what do you do? I am a hypnotist. Oh, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have got so gay with him. He <laughs> <laughs> would have put me under for three or four months. <laughs> Well, well, what do you hypnotize? Uh, animals? People, of course. People. Yeah. Well, what kind of people? Well, in nightclubs, I, um, nightclubs, auditoriums, theaters. Uh, my show is very much like yours. You mean uh, it's crooked? <laughs> well, what else do you do in your act besides putting people under uh, ether? I am singing, dancing, laughing, Sometimes crying, sometimes I make them ticklish too, like this one here does. You hear that? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I, what, what does the singing and dancing and funny stuff have to do with uh, hypnotism? I thought that was a very serious profession. Well, it is. It's serious. I try to do it scientifically, but I have to put a little humor into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I run these people through a few tests, I. Uh, leave him with a post mouth suggestion that when they go back to their tables, uh, when I say a certain word, they would uh, either... Lift the check? No. Uh, they would either kiss their husbands or boyfriends or wives or whatever the case may be. Also, when they heard the music playing, they would have a, an irresistible desire to come up on the stage and do an uninhibited dance. So when the music starts playing, they come up and dance or whatever the suggestion is. Well, could you demonstrate your talents as a hypnotist here, Tryon? We can't do it on TV. You might inadvertently put half the audience at home out of commission. Well, as you said, I couldn't very well do it on cameras, but uh, as I was walking through the hallway, I happened to spot one of your ushers, who I thought would make a, an excellent uh, subject. Well, what did you spot him with? Well, I'll let you decide for yourself. Would you mind if I ask him to come up? No, I... Which of our ushers did you give the Mickey to? Do you remember? Uh, is the young man here? Would you mind coming up here, please? That's a boy scout, isn't it? <laughs> Meet Groucho Marx. How are you, young man? Fine. Now, you're a boy scout? No, sir. I'm a page. Page? Yes, sir. Well, would you lie down? I'd like to turn over a new page. <laughs> I've never done that. Well, what is your name? Mike Allen, Groucho. Well, I've seen you before, Mike Allen. Oh. Mike, did you voluntarily uh, submit to hypnosis, or did you try and have to slug you with the front door? No, I, I submitted voluntarily. Okay, well, then you realize this is your responsibility. Huh? Well, I don't could know what's going to happen. <laughs> could you put him under your spell and ask him to take a cut in salary? <laughs> Well, I don't know whether I can do that or not, uh, Groucho, but I'm going to try very hard. Is this really on the level now? Uh, there's no trickery? This isn't just an act? Well, I'll let you find out for yourself. I want to explain something to you first. The reason why this young man went to sleep so quickly is he because... He heard the show. 
<laughs> because I left him with a post denial suggestion that whenever I placed my hand on his shoulder or shook him by the hand, he would go deep asleep whether he was standing or sitting down. As you noticed, I was talking to you, I placed my hand on his shoulder, and as you can see, he is asleep. You was born on touching now. In just a few moments, I'm going to awaken you. After you awaken, every once in a while, you'll hear the drums, the sound of the drums. Every time you hear the sound of the drums, I want you to know that Groucho is either pinching you or sticking you with something real sharp. <laughs> you're, going, you're not going to like it, and you're going to tell him off in a real gentleman-like way. Watch your language and don't use your hands. You will also hear the music playing in just a little while. The moment you hear the music playing, you will have an irresistible desire to do the most uninhibited dance you've ever done in your life. And you will dance until I tell you to stop. You will do the greatest dance you've ever done until I tell you to stop. After I tell you to stop dancing, you, Groucho will start ad-libbing with you. You're going to show Groucho that you too can ad-lib with him. When I count five, feeling great, wake up, not remembering what I told you, but you will react to these suggestions. One, two, three, four, five. Wake up, please, and feel fine. Wake up, sir. Young man, would you move over here a little moment? I want to. I want to ask you something. Do you? Uh, I want to tell him something too. You're uh, now the head of the network. Uh, it's been ten years since you were up here. The uh, drummer, I can't. The drummer, You're probably drunk. <laughs> Something wrong, Mike? Mr. Marks, I'd appreciate it if you'd sort of <clears throat> conduct yourself like a gentleman. Uh, is <laughs> Why, is he doing? He's on the wrong show. Is he doing something? Well, I don't see you, him. You don't trust me, do you, huh? Well, I used to. <laughs> uh, I mean, when, when did you trust me? This must have been some years ago, huh? Stage. That's a wonderful dance you were doing there. You don't want to waste your time hustling these people up and down the aisle. Do well, no, I can... How can I be sure this man is back to normal? I mean, how do I know someday he won't sneak up here and bite me in the leg? You don't have to worry, Garcho, because... Sleepy. Young man, when I complete the count of five, you'll wake up and him fine, back to normal in every respect. Whenever you hear the sound of the drums, you will not feel that pinching or sticking. You will have no heart beating or groucho. This was only a suggestion that I gave you, and I am now removing it. I am also Pardon removing... Me. Could I interrupt you for a second? Yes. If you could keep him sleeping, he would become the head of the network. <laughs> they've, been, they've been looking for a man like that for years. Also, I am removing the suggestion. Whenever you hear the sound of the, the music, you will not feel like dancing, that uninhibited dance. The suggestion is completely removed, and you will not have to live with Groucho no. anymore. When I complete the count of five, you, whose forehead I am touching now, I want you to awaken feeling fine, refreshed mentally and physically, feeling great, sleep well when you go to bed and wake up tomorrow, feeling wonderful all day tomorrow. One, two, three, four. The next number, feeling great, back to normal, feeling wonderful. Five, wake up and feel fine. Are you all right, young man? How are you? Fine. Now, I want to ask you a serious question, which is something I rarely do. How long, if you kept him under this uh, hypnotic spell, how long would your control over him continue? This could last indefinitely. Uh, aren't you frightened to have that kind of power over people? Groucho, I don't look at it that way. I don't feel that I have a power. I feel that it's the power of the person's mind. It is not the hypnotist. The hypnotist 
possesses no supernatural powers. It is a matter of concentration. The stronger the concentration, the better the subject. Could you do this to anybody? Well, uh, it is a proven fact, a scientific fact, that any normal person can be hypnotized at one time or another. Where do you go to school? UCLA. Are you on the football team? No, I, I'm Are a page. On the dancing team? No, I'm not a very good dancer. <laughs> Roger, I also like to impress upon you that not that hypnotism can be used to do a lot to do a lot of good for a lot of people. It has been and it still is being used. In fact, it is rapidly becoming more and more popular in the medical field. Doctors are using it to help people who are suffering from subjective fears or pressures, be they mental, spiritual, or in some cases physical nature. Every time I go to my doctor, he's asleep. <laughs> go back to your job, Mike, and look. You behave yourself out in the audience, sir. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. you boys in the future. If I see you acting strange, I'll know everything is normal. <laughs> and you ought to try dancing. I think you'd be very good at it. <laughs> Have you ever been under a hypnotic spell, George? No. Can you spell hypnotic? <laughs> that's, that's the hard well, part. Put it up there. Huh? You know how to play? Yes, sir. What category did they choose? A uh, movie quiz, right? Yes. Mary, you pick the first one. Huh? Um. 200. For $200, who plays the title role in the Disney version of Pollyanna? Um, Come on, kids. You only have so much time. Well, it's Haley Mills. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, three more chances to make $500. For two hundred dollars, the movie "Who Was That Lady" co-stars a real-life married couple. Who are they? Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. You now have two hundred dollars and two more chances to make five. Three hundred. Jimmy Stewart plays the defense attorney in *Anatomy of a Murder*. What actor played the part of the accused? What else is new? Give up? Yes. You read it. Loud. I can't even pronounce ben it. Ben Gazzara. You have 200. One more chance to make a total of five. Yes, yeah, take a 300 now. I'll just take one. Take a pink one. We'll take another one. one. No, I don't want to talk into it. I like a girl who wears gloves, don't you? <laughs> I'd never given that much thought. Uh, so what do you think of all that? <laughs> For $300, the daughter of a famous movie star makes her film debut in Tall Story. What is her name? I think it's Henry Fonda's daughter, Jane Fonda. You win the money. Well, now kiss him. <laughs> he didn't fool around, this guy. Well, congratulations. We'll see you later. And Mary, when you come back, remember a bathing suit. Thank you. So our judges can make you look vaguely familiar to me. <laughs> so do you, to me. No, aren't you from Romania? Yes, indeed. Where the Pennsylvania Railroad runs? No. <laughs> Let's get off that railroad now, okay? All right. Well, we had a nice trip, though, didn't we? We sure did. Who is this bounder over here? <laughs> I know who I am. Oh. Uh, I'm, I mean, uh, you're a Groucho, and this is uh, uh, Tyron, a uh, try on. Uh -oh. You are sport I'm touching now. <laughs> Give it on. Give it on. You are sport I'm touching now. You'll pronounce my name right. The name is try on. How about that? <laughs> That's his middle name. How about that? As we were saying, it's uh, try on Boyer. Right. It works. Uh, his partner is uh, uh, Mary Lanasa, and they earn $500. Uh, Mary uh, Lanasa? Lanasa? Oh, that's yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's they earn the $500, which is requisite to being out here, and uh, they're going to try for the big question. But first, as we promised, uh, we're going to see uh, Mary right now as Mrs. Housing Development of Baltimore. <laughs> Any 
anybody that wouldn't want to play Tickle Sam with this girl is crazy. <laughs> well, Mary, good luck in the contest. Thank Perhaps you she'll be much. the one who wins the title of Mrs. Housing Development of the United Snakes, uh, the United States. <laughs> Whoever it is gets another trip back to Hollywood along with her husband and wins the Grand Prix. Is that right? A prize. Uh, well, I like these. Now, let's see if you can win the big money tonight. You pick a number from one to 10 for 10 grand and we put it up here. I'll pick four. Now, you pick a number for five grand and we'll put it up here. Seven. Seven. Now, one of you spin the wheel. And of any other number, but this, these two comes up, the question is worth a total of 2,000 if you get it right. Clear? If I don't, I'll make sure that I will. You gonna give me that thing, too? Yes. I can't get a bug. The other way. Obvious. You took seven and four, it came up five, so here we go for a total of two grand. One of the great names in the annals of engineering is that of George Washington Gothals. G-O-E-T-H-A-L-S. For a total of 2,000, tell me what great achievement you associate his name. Gothals. G-O-E-T-H-A-L-S. What do you associate his name with? Take a guess if you don't know. She, she doesn't know, and I don't know. And she, mm. she dared me to say what I said to well, her. Say it. I said, you said, what name is it associated with? That's Goats, right. Goats, I would say. <laughs> well, that's close, but uh, he was the uh, chief engineer <clears throat> in charge of building the Panama Canal. Oh, my. So you wind up with how much money? 500, I guess. And be sure to give my love to Tickle Town. <laughs> And when you buy our sponsor's product, remember that... Hey, George, George, come here, come here, wait a minute, come back here. I want to ask you something. I want to ask you, do you think that hypnotist is really on the level? Did he, did he really have that boy under his spell? Oh, yes, uh, actually, I'm sure he did. Do you think he could hypnotize me? Oh, I think he could, and I wish he would. Well, why do you say that? <laughs> you think I'm half asleep now? No, no, not that at all, but I, I, I'd okay. like to see you okay. hypnotized. Okay. You have him, have him come back next week, and I'll let him try to give me the works. This is a promise. This is a promise, yeah. And bring that page boy back, too. I have a few questions I want to ask him. I'll do that. When you buy our sponsor's product, tell him Groucho sent you. Mm -hmm.